Mr Dye, first hit out of the season, what's your overall assessment? Obviously pretty pleased, you know, 50 point there against a very good championship side, can never be scoffed at, but you know, um, when you come into a pre team friendly, you look for a few things, you want to look at um, some of the stuff that you've practised, you know, is that starting to, to cement in, which I thought he did today, you know, um, you can kind of give people enough game time, which we did. We don't want to overplay players as well, so no, it was only Brendan Mack going to play the 18 minutes as well. So I was pleased with that. Next week's the, the time when obviously boys can step up to the 18 minutes, really. And, you know, a lot of energy, a lot of commitment, um, but lots of things to work on as well. So I was pretty pleased and no injuries. So, you know, you go into the game, certainly we've seen evidence of things that we've been worked on, uh, but still room to improve, no injuries and, you know, just scored a lot of points. So we're pretty pleased, but uh, lots of things to improve on. So the main areas of focus before we take on Bristol Rugby next Saturday? Well, I think uh, a little bit of a game of both halves in, uh, in, in sort of the set piece. I thought we were really dominant uh, first half and went really well, but give away too many penalties the second half. Defensively, I don't think we were troubled too much in fairness, so there's not much to, uh, you know, to really go over on the defensive point. We just keep on improving that. And from an attack point of view, just that last pass on occasions, our last pass didn't quite go to hand, although there was lots of very good approach work. On first half, I thought, you know, we didn't have the patience and the composure, especially in the year 22. You know, I think uh, when we got into the year 22, we looked for a miracle ball. You know, we tried to score on the first and second phase where it doesn't really matter if it takes six phases to score, you know, you get the same points, really. So a little bit of composure and a little bit of patience. But uh, as I said, lots of things to, to improve on. Second half, obviously, when you bring players on, they're always going to get a little bit more disjointed, but you know, pretty pleased. A couple of interesting uh, combinations out there today as well. Second half, Cipriani at 10, Gopeth at 12. Is that a, a possible combination this season? Yeah, we've got, a, you know, obviously with all the, the hype about our, our, our attack and flair behind, pretty much we haven't got any of them yet. Um, obviously, Kyle Eastman is still recovering from, from an hamstring injury. We know about Kirtley, he's not um, right, obviously uh, ready for a while yet. Alapati is still... You know, not quite um, obviously ready, ready to play, and obviously Willie Roo's not with us until after Christmas anyway. So, you know, there's lots of hype, but um, you know, obviously where we are at this moment in time, we've got to make sure that if we pick up any injuries, that we've got these combinations to play. Obviously, we all know that Danny can, you know, can also play 15. Jimmy can also play 15, but now's the time to test these combinations because we're probably one injury away from having to to move people about anyway. So, you know, we're hoping that. Um, you know, Pats won't be too long, and we're hoping that uh, Kylie Smith won't be too long. But you know, um, we've got to look at these um, alternative positions. Are we comfortable if we have to play them in the Viva Premiership? And finally, what's the plan next week against Bristol? Is it to make a lot of changes for more game time for more new signings, or is it just a few tweaks here and there? No, we've got two games. Obviously, we're going to, you know, we, we, we've got uh, two uh, teams, so everyone's going to have 80 minutes. I've quite made up my mind whether we're going to mix it up yet, or, or obviously go for them, um, you know, what we believe is as near as damage to the 23 that's going to play against Exeter, and then pretty much have an A team. So we haven't quite. Uh, Obviously made up my mind on that yet, but certainly certainly coming away from next week, I, I would have thought everybody's going to have 80 minutes really, which will, which will lead us nicely then into the week's preparation for Exeter.